what Lady them are doing in LA with the brown bag. Brown bag, brown bag is the best in here, brown bag pie. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Para bailar la bamba. I was just telling Vic and Letty that um, when we were having our meeting greet, by the way, we're going to talk about the live show, but we're having the live show. This girl, this guy just goes like, she's not even wearing her ring. And then I was like, we're all so confused. What? Who was it wearing? You guys don't remember that? No. Josh, do you remember that? So Lucha? it was a couple? It was like a couple, and she's like, it hurts my finger. Oh, she oh, was. It does sound they were fighting each other, and we were in the middle. Yes. Yeah. And they were like, she didn't even wear her ring. She's not even wearing a ring. <laughs> I'm like, my guy, that didn't mean to run. <laughs> now, just go, bro. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when your ring is getting cleaned, you don't wear it. Mm. But the yeah. ring should be for the girl, too. Like, it should be to her liking. Maybe you just didn't make a ring that she liked. Mm. <laughs> like how she did that and just popped out her ring. Like uh, <laughs> I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. Because imagine somebody buys something they have to wear for the rest of your life that you really don't like. It's like, damn. Or maybe they didn't match the fit. Maybe she's wearing stuff that's like silver and her ring is gold. Mm. It's the whole thing. Because y'all are the same way. Like, imagine if you had like a silver watch, but you had like stuff that had gold on it. I and feel that. Like, oh, I totally understand that. Because my yeah. mom gave me this like, like... coordination. My mom gave me this like big, ugly thing that's like, it's like hella ugly, but I wear it because it's, my mom gave it to me. <laughs> so if, if somebody like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's hella annoying. Yeah. It's like... The more I shower, the more raggedy it gets. Yeah. But it's she like made you look like five years older just making me. Do I know, that. but the fact that my mom gave it to me, I'm like, I'm Let down for it. Let me see. It's like I got parts. <laughs> 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 this is like there's like a, it's kind of like a keep the bad juju. What did she say like, when she gave it to you? She's like, "Mio te haré estoy lo bendecí." Mm, oh, and I was yeah, like, "Okay, yeah, it has holy water on it." You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know something. God kissed it or something. <laughs> Whatever. The, the kiss of God. The priest kissed it. Oh, whoa, whoa, you know he. Hey, Alisa. Oh. What? <laughs> Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New We're Year. We're starting off with this. Happy New Don't Year. Don't you know I'm local? Don't you know I'm local? Governor Newsom just passed some new laws. You man. know, it's, I love how we were like, our our governor, like, we passed the laws. We yeah. voted. Like, yeah. He gets this, all the credit. Yeah. Don't get the credit for this he shit. He didn't that. even vote. Yeah. <laughs> we had to vote for him yeah. or not. Like, can yeah. vote? Yeah. I, think, I don't know. Can he? Because if you're running, can you vote? Maybe. Because sometimes the people that are running... They go into like the oh yeah no the they do vote for themselves places, yeah. fucking self centered fucks yeah. <laughs> self centered fucks <laughs> yeah do you guys like new stuff uh, I feel like that for the wobbler he can definitely be a wobbler okay yeah but he's trying to be cool with us so yeah. trying to be cool with the cholos <laughs> definitely cool with the cholos yeah. inmates can now make free phone calls from jail wow so no more like buying like the phone minutes no or, more like, thank buy- you for using GTO. Yeah, it'll start probably still be recorded, but yeah. it's definitely not like. I think that's good because, like, honestly, the way the prison system is, it's right. so fucked up, and it's so yeah. like the way they monetize every Hello, little thing. Right, everything's a business. The way they put people to work for basically free right. for pennies, and so like this now is like in the other direction to where they're like, that's very humane. Yeah, you're fucking gone for how many years, and you would have to somehow make money or your family a financial burden put on them just yeah. so you can speak to them like that's tough well honestly you know that's I'm? why i don't believe this because i get like prison is a business yeah so to get free phone calls something there, there's probably like commercials or something during the phone calls or something advertisements like that's definitely like <laughs> pee pee bags your get yours sponsor. now yeah <laughs> there has to be some play yeah. <laughs> yeah. there has to be some play it cannot yeah. just be like hey phone calls are free now we are good people there's a sicker, we're not good people <laughs> there's a sicker plot behind yeah. this is what you're saying there we get all your data is. but this is free or some shit uh, like, free yeah. phone call but <laughs> But you have to opt in to the terms and conditions. Yeah. The terms and conditions that, that now we own your soul. Yeah, now all the cookies, that you get it. Like Yeah, yeah, like free phone calls, but each phone calls like two minutes. Yeah. Like I prefer Maybe. pay for the 20 for minutes. The 20. You know what I mean? Something yeah. like that. But for like these Chola girls, these like lover girls that love men in jail, yeah. this is a great thing for them. Or yeah. it's not because they, you, like you said, they love men in jail, so they might have multiple. So if they're all calling at the same time, you're Ooh. caught up. Like sometimes you schedule that shit out. Like like Rudy's gonna call me at nine, <laughs> the, and Jose's gonna call me in the morning. Hold right? on, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like you've scheduled no, before. I just at home, girls. Uh. But now you can't. All, all those fools are blowing you up. No, I know, I know. My thing is like now, like what if like you and your homie talking to the same girl? You gotta put us like redial, and it's just, like the same number. Comes this is out a lot. Or even like 
the fucking toxicos in jail, they're not going to stop blowing you up. Oh, yeah. Because now it's free. I see what there's you There's like, yeah. there's no, oh, babe, we don't have any more you have money. To, no, like, people, call hey, it back. People are going to be getting down for the phones more in jail. Yeah. That's true. I don't know. I've never been in jail. Not like Thank jail. Yeah, jail. Yeah. That's good. Like, like, like juvenile halls, like, yeah. we, yeah. they have to give us phone calls. We're minors. Like, yeah. if you don't let me call my mommy, um, I can sue you. <laughs> <laughs> but up there, it's like, if they don't answer, that's on y'all. You There's know? like a new lawsuit for people that went to camp. Did you see it? Yeah. So the kids that were like getting like, I'm pretty sure there was like some like physical Harassment, abuse yeah. one. And then if I'm not mistaken, maybe like some sexual abuse yeah, one. Yeah, that's like the one. That that's never happened right to me. Like a, I definitely got like class pepper. action if you've ever been to like a camp or juvie. Mm. Or like a juvenile hall. They definitely sent me the, like, like I still get like, um, like 80 cents from Polo Loco every month. For, oh, like for like the class action, oh, like, really? the class, like somebody sued, and I was I happened to work at Polo. I was one of the people that sued, but for norms. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, check. he told me. That's right. Yeah. That's fucked. Like That's cool. crazy. Yeah, those cons are going to be crazy. There's like pros and cons to everything. There's a lot of cons because I kept thinking about the cons because you know, like the reason why they smuggle in phones is because they can't use the phone all the time, right? Or to mm-hmm. be on TikTok so, and Facetime. True. Is that gonna Is that gonna stop the putting phones in your ass to get them inside? No, I think they're just gonna be maybe cheaper. They're maybe not going to be at a premium as much because it's like, you know, now like you can communicate for free. So yeah. you'll probably have to bring the prices down a little bit. Yesterday's price is not but today's. today's price. Yeah. But damn, imagine just like your ex-boyfriend just had like, just like. Ah! So I, as soon as I saw this, I pictured um, baby boy. When Snoop is in jail, calling, and calling a vet. Mm-hmm. And then he's just like, hey, man, stop calling my phone. He's like. Fuck you. I'm going to keep calling. This <laughs> my bitch. Like, that's going to yeah, a more, lot more of that is going to happen. happen. But also, so be ready, everybody. But also yeah. you, you know, like the bond between a mother and her kids is very strong. And let's say like financial burden was a big thing yeah. Yeah. for for girls, women, they're going to be able to connect with their kids more. That's nice. I wish this was like last year or two years ago when Jail Bay was calling me because she could only like <laughs> call me a few times a week. Shout out Jail Bay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's good. That's good. It's a good that's thing. That's good. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I overall, like it. yeah. I like, I, like, I like it overall. They get a, you know what I mean? It's, I just know somewhere else the fee is going to be attached. You know, like yeah. it's gonna come in another form. Yeah, it's like now they probably have to pay for something that. Yeah, they but they're hella panic. But they're hella panicking right now. The the company, the GTL. Like- yeah. yeah, but they they made too much money anyway. You know, like Draco R.I.P. made. I mean, he had to spend so much money recording record. that album. Like that shit was expensive as fuck because everything was a phone call. So oh my god, we're re- gonna hear more prison albums. Yes, oh. more jail albums, which yeah. I am a fan, low key of jail freestyles, all that shit. I'm, a, I'm, I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah, then there's a new one. There's another law, which is pretty cool, which I think is for everybody that is undocumented. And let's say you have everything else ready to become a police officer, and the only thing holding you back is that you are undocumented. Now that's no longer an obstacle because now you can join the the forces even though you are of undocumented status. In so California or in California. Of, in California. In California. That's pretty cool. Is that only for police or is that like firefighters? I believe and... it's police right now. Okay. I okay. believe it is police. Um but what I do think is a lot of times like like for who was telling you? I think a friend of mine was telling me that there was like this really intoxicated driver and he just so happened to only speak Spanish and he just so happened to be undocumented. Some Maybe in those cases, someone that is also of undocumented status can at least give some empathetic to, clearly that person was doing a crime, right? But be able to service them better. You know, if, or, you, ha- if you understand that background. Yeah. Otherwise you think, these are not words to use, but like, oh, they're illegal, they're aliens, all of this. Mm-hmm. Like, you already look at them a certain way. However, if you are also undocumented or have been, you can like just walk with a little bit more empathy. More towards empathy. People. But yeah. also, you know, it's it's gonna benefit like all the people that go through trauma mm-hmm. and are victims to certain things yep. where like they don't want to talk to the police because of you know like I, like an old lady like if she gets robbed right or something that people yeah. are like and she just she's like. Oh, I don't want to get in trouble because I might get yeah. deported. Like a lot of the street vendor yeah. stuff, they don't want to speak out because they like are struggling through the system. And I right? think yeah. if somebody's like understand, like, hey, you know what? Look, me too. Like, like I'm also undocumented, but I'm here to help you. Yeah, yeah. I think as long as you have a work visa, you can become a police officer, although you're undocumented. And I also think what's cool, it's gonna maybe help them get their papers. Yeah, it's, or that's well, cool. even like mm-hmm. becoming useful and purposeful and and. Maybe you always want some people. I know clown the police, but like maybe you always wanted to be a police officer, but yeah, no, you no, being that's... undocumented is like why you can't. And it's like now you have an opportunity to do that, which I think is. I cool. wonder. I wonder if they have to know a level of English. 
I'm sure. Yeah, they have to meet all the requirements, the requirements. Except that, that they are undocumented. Which is which is a dope thing because yeah. I guess it gives a lot of undocumented kids that because we uh, when I'm I'm not saying but like I didn't fucked off my opportunity. Well, I have a good career now, but mm-hmm. I like fucked it up. Where like I'm pretty sure the kids that maybe come from Mexico, Guatemala, Salvador, right? Any 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 Latin country, Hispanic country, and come here, and might not be able to go to college. But they might be great police officers. Yeah. That's a great women. job. Benefits. Oh, you know, yeah. that's a big thing for us. You get a pension people. if you die? Yeah. yeah. You get free donuts, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, is that really a thing? I think it's a thing. I think it's a thing because they're up so late that the only thing up is like donut shops too. Early. Yeah, 24 so hour. Yeah. yeah. But that would just have a sweet tooth. Yeah. But also, I, I think, think they get free shit everywhere, to be honest. Now they definitely paid they charge a police officer? Uh, shit, me, I put a local. <laughs> I <laughs> swear to God. They didn't get you, anything free? You would give them free shit? No, they no. pay. Oh, okay, okay. It, it doesn't work. That's that's. They that's do like... get discounts because I have a friend that's a police officer and they get discounts on um like clothes. Like workout clothes. But they would have to go in there in their... No, they have like a code or like they have like special know. links. You know, like if you're a student, you could go on Apple yeah. and get like a... Oh, I see what like you're saying. 10% but imagine off like, of Lululemon. Bro, yeah. bro, I'll be so hot. Like if I'm at Polo and the guy's like, hey, where's my discount, bro? I'm like, for yeah. what? You, you I'm know, using the code cops. But cops look tw- like cops. <laughs> Free for cops. <laughs> <laughs> Free for cops? Like, damn. I got to pay for this shit. You do too, motherfucker. But I, um, on a serious note, I think it is always good if there's an opportunity for our own community to police our own mm-hmm. community. That's the real goal, hopefully, behind this, to where more people are empathetic to everything, like you said, Letty, and it's like, yeah. okay, cool. Now, they aren't going to, like, only be this certain type of person, because I think that's, like, a big thing right now, where it's, like, only certain type of people are becoming police officers. Yep. And then they don't relate to most of mm-hmm. the community or that service, they police. the areas that they're exactly. That's what you're saying. It's yeah. crazy, the, the the amount of people I've met, like, the like police officers that recognize me, and they're like, bro, I grew up down the street. I'm like, dude, you became a cop? Yeah. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> you probably, your family probably does not talk to you. Or they probably do. Who knows? Yeah. To the average family, bro, like, you know, obviously. It's certain... cool. I feel like it's cool to have, like, a police in, in your family. Yeah. Like, it's an, there's advantages to it, you know? Do you guys, do you have one in your family? No. The boys, like, they love Paw Patrol. Luisito wants to be a firefighter so bad, and Jorjito loves Chase. Chase is the police the, officer. Chase on the case. Yeah. Um... One thing that it made me think of is that you can tour like fire stations. Yeah. And I'm like, I need to do that for the boys. Oh, you could definitely. I didn't know yeah. because these ones are just chill, especially right now. It's raining. Yeah. Like they're not fucking putting out fires. <laughs> yeah. But they're you? still in the fucking firehouse. Yeah. They so if there's anybody there. that is a firefighter and I can take my kids because they watch this full Blippy. Blippy essentially just goes to different like like construction sites, teaches them about like all the different cars that construction people use. Mm-hmm elevators and escalate like anything kind of like a uh, building wise and then like like police and like uh firefighters so i want to take the boys to a fire station so that's that'd be cool that'd be maybe dope. i could turn what he thought to want to be a firefighter yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why aren't there any fire women there are they yeah. are yeah. are they hot yes <laughs> I don't know if the they're... police officers is hot <laughs> they're hot period no the firefighters are hot period they fight fires <laughs> yeah yeah let this friend is very beautiful he's very... a police officer i know that's yeah, right. yeah. But I've, I've seen the one hot. for Rampart. <clears throat> <laughs> Let me tell you, Mrs. Officer. You're annoying. He's trying to have his own Rampart scandal. Yeah. Huh? You guys <laughs> never wanted to be like like something like that, that like a I police to, officer or like a firefighter. I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be an NFL player, but I knew the minute I turned into a certain age, you're Mexican and you're under six foot. Good luck, buddy. But no, oh. I definitely wanted to be a professional water polo player. That could have maybe happened, but no. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. I never wanted to be like a firefighter or a police officer. Mm-hmm. Or I definitely had like a, a moment where I wanted to be a pilot and travel the world. And that's fucking... pretty cool. You have to have like twenty twenty eyesight. Yeah. For that. You have good eyesight. It's pretty cool. Mm. What about you, Vic? Yeah, I wanted to be an astronaut, but like it seems so cool. To think about Hell like going yeah. to space, but and then like getting older and then realizing how scary space is, and you can just like get stuck or okay. like your rocket ship oh, can blow shit. up. Shit, and you're like, floating. Yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck? What what kind of anxiety would I have like? Up there, dog. I yeah. would have so much. Anxiety and then, and then when I, I started actually like looking into it, and like you're gone for years. Yeah. Like you go up there, and it feels like a few weeks, and then it's years, and you come back down. And everybody's older. You're you're stayed the same. It's so super weird. That's crazy. Yeah. What about you? Anytime I think about space, I get like the existential crisis. You know what that is? Yeah. It's like just thinking about like either the end of the world or Am your I life, real? purpose, like all. And then you what just is real. Anxiety, just yeah. anx- just fucking anxiety. <laughs> yeah. 
So that would happen to me when I was little, and I didn't have terms like anxiety or whatever yeah. to 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 give it. I just felt like so scared, and I'm like, I never want to hear about space ever again. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't like Star Wars and all that. Other than wanting to be a hoochie. Remember, because you really, really wanted to be a yeah. hoochie. Radio, radio's been forever. Like I, I, I hate. I, I'm sorry for that question because. That's my answer. That's, Since that's, I was little, I want to be on the radio. That's so cool. Huh? Just get to live your fucking dream. That's cool. <laughs> you know, you know no plan B. Now, if I had to rely on a podcast, you know what I was? I was. <laughs> to be a I was listening player. to Dom today, like some old Dom shit, and then he said I grew up and came exactly who I wanted to be, and Ooh. I was like, that's fire. If I can use that as a caption. And then I, I thought about it, and I'm like, am I who I wanted to be? And I'm like, in a lot of ways, yes. Like I didn't know exactly how, you know, because podcasting obviously wasn't yeah. a thing back then or whatever. Um, but I'm like, I wanted to be a fly dude. Ooh, like an astronaut. You know? No, fly not, astronaut. Not he, that he's fly, an astronaut. You know? <laughs> I love it. I love this for you. I love this for you. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of touring this year, you know? Um, stuck my rocket ship, you know, on a lot of uh, crevices. <laughs> in a couple of different dimensions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different time zones. You Hella know? dark holes. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of dark holes. You Lots know? of dark holes. Yeah. Oh. But, but safety, um, of course. Oh yeah, safety, safety first, then teamwork. You know. <laughs> but uh, this yeah. is a great ad for the fucking NASA. <laughs> we know who didn't have anxiety, <laughs> but have varieties. Ooh, Ooh that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, look, I swear to God, I wanted to be a water polo player. You did for a moment. I did, but it was like, uh, do I really want to swim for the rest of my life? In Europe? Where Where is like the league, or where what's like the the highest league in of water Europe, polo? In Europe, um. Netherlands is just like, and they're like that's like their yeah. Who's like their Messi? Who's their like? I don't think there's like a Messi for water polo. I don't know who's it. Olympics. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Who's their Jordan? Are they in the in the Olympics? Their water Water, polo is definitely in the Olympics. Mm. It's probably one of the most watched. I think in Europe is like their national sport. Like not like when I say Europe. I of you in your water polo era. Oh, the legend. I have videos. Of me just scoring on fools. I could have gone to college for it at least, but I just wasn't like consistent enough. Yeah. Mm. But I, I was really good at it. Shout out to you. Shout out to water. <laughs> but water, water, water in space, I love it. Yeah, you feel me? I like making things wet. You know what I mean? Ah. You know what I mean? The scoring goes to. <laughs> but of course, I wear the head. I, I wear the thing for the safety. Cap. For safety. Always wears the cap. Safety first. But then never yeah. yeah, never cap. But every once in a while, I'll just you know, my hair will get wet. You know what I mean? It was, yeah. the, it was a little filthy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but look, what's crazy, the only sad thing about water polo, and there's something I hate, is not like soccer or basketball where I could just like meet up with my friends and just go play. Yeah. Like we got to set up, we got to get a pool, we got to get a lifeguard, there's always got to be somebody on the tower. Yeah. Like there's just hella rules to water polo. It's not like picking up a basketball. And, and just going like, to go shoot yeah, with your friends. Yeah, it's you. not like yeah. that at all. Yeah. yeah. All right, here's another law. Their jaywalking is legal. That shit's been legal. No. 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 You could, like, if a... If you a, guys are old. Huh? You guys... Today? No, like, in, like, middle school. For yeah. Josh, yeah. 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 That was a very real but Josh, thing. also, where you grew up, you guys have, like, your own police department. Well, that's what I'm saying, because in Pasadena, you jaywalk, it's over. Yeah, for, yeah. Yeah, for it only matters in, 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 in for little rich cities. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's just be honest. <laughs> yeah, Josh. No, no, I'm saying, you, like, you might be right. Yeah, they probably won't tell you nothing. Yeah, yeah but, like, in my road, you did her. Prison forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Downtown. But it's just because like it's worse crimes that are happening there that yeah. I don't have to go so to. So that's like, what I'm the, saying. Yeah. I never understood. But I definitely. Okay. Should I arrest okay. this one for murder or this one for jaywalking? I would go to the, the murder. murder. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I, I, I do get what Josh is saying, but I do get what Jay is saying. Like, the, for the Cholo homies when I was younger, if they would jaywalk, that would give the police probable cause. I was about to say that. And then, yeah. But now it's like, huh. <laughs> no probable cause mm. here. Probably <laughs> flipping off the cops is a, a probable cause. Is yeah. it? I don't know. I don't think so. There has to be, aren't there stuff like if you like taunt or something? Talk back to know. an officer or I think aggravated or I don't know something. I definitely saw a homie get. Um, There's some shit that if you they'll find resisting. A way. If they want you bad yeah. enough, they'll find a way. Yeah. For, for, for one of my homies, that fool got it. Like that fool was being a dick to the cops mm-hmm. and then he spit and the cop was like littering ticket. Oh. Yeah, and got it out for a littering ticket, yeah. but just or if you yeah. spit on the cop, it assault. would probably be assault. Yeah. I yeah. spit at a cop before, at them and touched. I, I at them like at his face. Whoa! Ah, but I was true. a minor, so I just got my ass beat real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't snitch. Stupid ass. <laughs> I'm getting my ass beat twice by police. No way. Uh, We've never talked about this. Did you deserve it both times? Because Loki, if you spit in their face, one like, of them, a regular person would. Yeah, fuck yeah, you yeah. Up, so. That one, I definitely deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got beat up. 
at the. A veces at the, is police brutality, but a veces is I deserve it. Yeah. I got beat yeah. up at the homecoming game Damn. for Belmont. Belmont played against um, Miguel Contreras, which mm -hmm. is a high school. And I got beat up in front of my ex girlfriend and my best friend. Oh, Damn, wow. what you do? All right, I was leaning on the cop car. Everybody's getting out of school. I was leaning on the cop car, and then he's like, "Hey, can you get off?" Like, but he Why said it like. Why were you leaning on the cop car? Because I was waiting for my ex girlfriend at the moment. My girlfriend at the moment. But I was just elite. I wasn't like ah. But 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 you felt like a certain way to do it on a cop car. Yeah. No, 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 car. no. There was only cars parked in front because of the football game. Yeah, you know, and, and were I, you tagging yeah. on the cop car? No, I was not tagging on the cop car. But did I, you, did you look on the cop suspicious car? on the cop car? I'm a fucking kid. I'm a 14-year-old kid. <laughs> but low-key, you pelon. probably looked 21. Because <laughs> no, you're know. 22 right now and you look older. So are you saying abuse mentally and physically against kids that look a certain way is okay what? by police people? <laughs> Wait, you finish your story. Okay, well then, don't, don't try to blame it on me. See, you're trying to make me the... We're being caught. them blame me. <laughs> You either being caught right now. Was it your fault? How are you leaning on it? Was yeah, your foot on the wheel? I've never just leaned on a cop car, yeah, to be honest. I don't touch it. I'm, yeah. I'm just like, that's a cop car. Bad juju. Stay away from it. Bro, if, if I'm standing next to a cop car, a cop, a cop is like allowed just to treat me like shit? No, no. but what else happened? That was just that's daring in the first place. No, but there's a hell of people. It's not like it's not like I'm sitting on it. It's not like you I'm like... You see the video and he's kicking the cop car? <laughs> I am not kicking the cop car. I'm just leaning on it. He's fake fucking it. He's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it. Yeah. car. <laughs> You can't fuck me, but I can yeah. fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. So, and then he's like, he said it like rude, like, man, get the fuck off. Mm -hmm. Or some shit. And I was like, mm. I was like, hey, fool, you don't gotta be mean. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna be like, hey, bro, I'm leaving. <laughs> he just start fucking you up. No, no, and then and then I'm like walking away. <laughs> and then he's like, and then he's like, what you say? And I was like, yeah, bro, you know, but these, you're not even a, like you're a real cop, but you're a fool, you're a school cop. Like, take your job too serious, bitch. Mm. Like, go fucking Did you say that? No, I didn't say oh, that. Okay. Go through such Go go search through some kid's backpack or whatever. Do your what? And then he follows me, and then he tries to like grab me, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And then it's just like in the yard. If anybody know how Belmont is, like, I'm like right in the front, but everybody's coming out the home homecoming game, <laughs> right? And then this fool like he just grabs my you. backpack, opens it, and it has some blood. Uh, but okay. I didn't have the blood before, so you had no probable cause. <laughs> you just assumed I was doing some bad shit. Yeah. But he was right. I had some blunts in my, my oh. tobacco. I'm a minor. But no, but I wasn't smoking. Or, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yeah. And I'm like, bro, let me go, bro. And then they all come. But one of the cop cars, one of the cop cars, fuck, one of the cop cops, I knew. He was like, oh, he's always hella cool. He used to be like, look, you guys got to get the fuck out. Like, yeah. you guys can't be here. So he didn't hit you then? Let, let, me, oh. let me finish. Oh, it's still going. Yeah. Well, okay. see, look. I love it. Bro, love you're it. taking the cop side right <laughs> now, bro? That fucked <laughs> me mentally. It's just funny because remember when... when <laughs> When Josh, we're at the Dodger game, and he starts shit, but then according to Josh, they start shit with him, <laughs> but we were there, and we yeah. saw Josh yeah. start shit. No, the guy, was the guy was definitely being mean about the scene. No, but Josh was on his shit. Josh was like, Josh what was the fuck, fool, what you want to And we're like, hey, Josh. And Josh's like, what? I was just throwing away my my, my drink. Yeah, like his his yeah. perspective and Versus like the really full happened. perspective is always a little different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now, yeah. Yeah. That's but look, like, like the way he's trying to like portray right now like, is like, hey, bro, he was just like, so mean? He was You've just never like, said that in your life. Literally, he's just like with the fucking bubble gum. Like, just, yeah, like, like, leaning against it, like, <laughs> nothing's yeah. wrong. No, no, I'm just an innocent kid. No, but if, no, but, all right, Vic, but if somebody's leaning on your car and you go, like, hey, bro, I'm leaving, that's understandable. People get up and move, but they like, get the fuck out. Like, he was just being yeah. a dick. So then he grabbed me, saw the blunts, he was like. If you saw you sitting on your car, <laughs> would you say, hey, bro, can you please move? Or would you be like, get the fuck the out the my car? from a year ago uh, uh, patiently and nicely came over to us and asked us if he... If, no, if you could move if his car, you were going to your car. Yes, I and definitely. You saw you standing <laughs> yes, on yes. your car. How would you tell you to get off? Hey, bro, I'm gonna take off. I'm leaving. Bro, at the gym, I do it all the time. If people are like, people are like that park next to me. They're like talking with their friends and stuff, and uh, they're like, they're about they're like the gym, bro. Yeah. They're taking like pre workout. I'm not like, get the fuck out of my car, bro. <laughs> Like I feel like you would. No, I don't. I'm a really nice person. I'm really nice. <laughs> hey, why are you so mean, bro? Yeah. But I was like, hey, bro. Back. I was like, I was like, why you gotta be rude, dog? Yeah. And then he tried it, and then he whatever he did the blunt. He's like, I'm gonna give you a ticket. And then the other cop, fucking the other cop. First of all, I don't know why I keep saying cop car, but the other cop, he came over. He's like, he's like, Danny, bro, just relax, yeah. bro, relax. Look, we're gonna give you the ticket for this blunt. Yeah. Like that's a proof of point. Everybody was looking at them. Yeah. And then me being 14 and just like, oh, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm crazy. Like, yeah. it's not worth it. I just go like, bro, if you don't let me go, I'm going to spit on you. <laughs> and, and there's a fact. I have the full story there's on my YouTube facts. channel, Duno's World. You can me go watch it on my YouTube. Story time with Duno. And he's like, and I just, and then he's like, do it. And I spit at him. 
<sighs> fat though, like a noogie, like a what bam. And then I just got socked. Boom, and then the crowd went crazy. Yeah, because the crowd, the, the crowd only saw me get socked. They didn't oh. see me get spit because I got surrounded. Oh. And then I could hear my homie like try to get down with the cops. And then my my ex grabbed the one was like, yeah! and I was like, yeah, I'm the man right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty so, crazy story. <laughs> but was that that was definitely valid. Yeah, the, the we second were talking about, I thought you were explaining the one that wasn't valid. Okay, that one was valid. The second yeah. one, I was tagging. They told me to stop. I ran. I ran. They chased me. I was outrunning them. If you guys don't know, I'm fast for a big guy. I'm sprinting, and that would just dope me from the side. Yeah. A big ass, like 6'4", dude. They're dragging me out through the block, everything. The whole block is screaming, like my, the homie's mom, my mm -hmm. tia. He thought I was an adult. I was only 14, and he started panicking. Yeah. Oh. He started panicking. He's like, oh, you're a minor. Yeah. <laughs> And the whole, he's, they're like, he's a fucking minor. And this is a big ass 6'4", yeah. swole military dude. Beat the dog shit out of me. He opened my whole ear and everything. Oh, he saw, you know when you get shocked in the ear? I don't know if you've ever yeah. been shocked in the ear. But you ever like, been hitting your ear where like it rings? Yeah. Oh. Like he dolphin my shit hard. What you? What are you calling it? A dolphin. It's like a, like a sneak, like a sneak hit. You never I, heard that term? Never heard, can you say it? Dope fiend. Dope fiend, yeah. Dope fiend? Yeah. Like a dope fiend? Mm -hmm. I never heard that term. I know that term is like someone that's addicted to dope. Yeah, have, yeah. Right? Have you guys, yeah. Have you guys ever seen that video of that that guy that comes over to the other guy and he's just like, oh man, everything okay? Like, yeah, no, yeah. And he tries to hit him. <laughs> and Fuck then, you, bitch. Yeah, yeah. And then he, and he's like, and then he comes back and he goes, man, I'm sorry, I was tripping earlier. And he goes, ah, he tries to get him again. He like schizophrenic. Yeah. And then, but the guy's like, dude. And he goes, don't, he goes, don't take her off me, I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the funny. I have it to went show like, it to you. Yeah, but it went like hella viral on yeah. Twitter, Instagram. No, because the guy's like, hey, man, I'm sorry for acting up the way I did yesterday. <laughs> and then the guy's a security guard at like a building. He's like, and he's like, man, it's okay, bro. I understand. Ho hopefully we're good. He comes over to give him a dab. And he just, yeah, but I just want to tell you, ah, you're still a bitch. Yeah, and then he goes like, I'm schizophrenic, bitch. I'm never okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, know know if I, you. So that, I don't know if I can laugh at that. Oh, it's that. right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what, man? I, I want to apologize to you, man. I, okay. I hadn't had my medicine, man. I'm on psychotropic medicine, man. You know, you know I'm a schizophrenia, you know? Right. You know, I hear voices. I see things. This, they say this is not really there. And I just want to apologize to you because I was wrong. Hey, you know, I've been working all day. I've been working for 12 hours all day. Hey, can you just shake my hand? Of course. That's all I've been wanting was an apology from you. That's, That's it. That's all. I'm just trying to do my job, sir. But you know what, sir? I was thinking about something. <laughs> Like, dude, come on, hey, you going to fucking jail, man. You know what? Hey, get the fuck off my property. Fuck. Go. You got a gun? Come on, motherfucker. Come gun? find out. You got a gun? Come find out. I don't think you got a gun. <laughs> you know, Ricky thing, motherfucker. You, <laughs> you ain't even got a badge. Hey, you know what? I was, hey, big bro, I told you I'd take medication. <laughs> Calm down, man. I don't know what be wrong with me. I just, I just lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen this? He's a Ricky Dick motherfucker. I told you I'm all schizophrenic, motherfucker. And we're not laughing at you guys, by the way. We're not laughing at We're laughing at the homeless dude. Like, he just, like, the crackhead dude, he just keeps, like, changing his ass. Dog. You just ain't worse. That shit was so funny. <laughs> that video went hell of hard. You never seen that one? No, I, 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 I on purpose don't watch it like that. Dog, oh. that shit is the 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 comments is like this is what love is. <laughs> this is what love is. because the security guard understand. You yeah, know? but he's just like you wrinkle thick motherfucker. Oh, you wrinkle. He gave him another chance. It was like the <laughs> fucked up part. <laughs> I was thinking about something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, oh shit. So that let's go back to that second time you got fucked up. You okay, were 14 so both times. You were I was like 14, times. 15, and then Damn, I was that tagging. That was a rough year, huh? It was, it was a really, rough really rough year. <laughs> so you were tagging, then you ran away, then he don't fiend you? Yeah, like from so the side. So he punched you? Boom. To make you stop running? Yeah. Okay. And then they arrested my ass, and then, uh, so whenever, if you bleed, like, so like the cop, when I spit on him, I had to go to the hospital to check I didn't have any diseases or anything, <laughs> because you got to do that, like, yeah. you know, because yeah. spit, like, is, it could be um transmitter or whatever, and then they made me bleed. And low-key, when I was, like, in the thing, my mom had to be there because I'm a minor. Yeah. And when I'm on the thing, the yeah. the, the guy goes, like, hey, bro. Because it was kind of like, you can't do that, fool. Yeah. You also, well, yeah. 
I'm tagging. So because I'm yeah. tagging, I'm, I'm gonna. Well, should, is your say, mom there while you're tagging? No, your mom has to be there. That's protocol for them. No, I know, but what I'm saying is. No, no. If they arrested me normally, no, they, they didn't fuck you up for praying. No, but they, okay. they, and they didn't fuck you up because you oh, walked wow, to them wow. with your hands up. Well, we know whose side you're on. <laughs> so because I'm running away from you, you're allowed to just be my ass. If you were doing a crime, you're allowed to be I my ass. And I was telling you to stop, and you didn't stop, and I, I stopped you. Follow Bubby Schoolboy Q Bless on my headphones. <laughs> That's <laughs> ironic. That's ironic to yeah. be listening to that. Stay black. Yeah. <laughs> What's that flag that has like the blue stripe? <laughs> Oh yeah, stop the, my car. I'm just kidding. Oh, she's a uh, blue line. Yeah, but blue no, lives matter. It's not oh, blue lives matter. Yes, Whoa, it is. blue lives matter type of guy. Oh, yeah. what's, what's wrong with you, bro? It's just a flag that has the blue, the thin blue line. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's we don't right. cross. These colors don't run. That's what you. That's, what, that's the American slogan, by the way. Yeah, it's America. Good, you know? America. Just don't do crimes, and you won't get beat up. Simple as that. Wow! Wow! You know, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're, you're I'm not kidding. kidding. I'm just kidding. Clip. I'm just, I'm just kidding. kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but I, like it was. No, like, please accept that I'm just kidding because no, the way that this will end. You're joking, you guys. You. God damn. Nah, she's joking. Guys. Sarcasm. 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 She does crimes just like all of us. I know. Yeah. It was me on the one. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. I'm gonna go viral. Let me just. I'd be a great tiger. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you'll be cool. You'll be cool. You'll be cool. We, that one time, not that time, but the other <laughs> time. Oh, shit. Now, time. now it seems, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the other bomb? <laughs> yeah. Why'd you get nervous? Here? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to knock on wood. Like, I don't know. What, uh, for what? Yeah. I don't know what that is. What yeah. is this? I don't know. Uh, drywall? 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 <laughs> <laughs> not called drywall. All right, well. What's, those are the new laws. Those are new at least some of them. Shout out to all the new laws. Yeah. Facts. Shout out to all the new laws. Um, and then also, for don't you know I'm local, we have to react to this video. <laughs> Speaking of running from cops. Nah, he was <laughs> running. <laughs> he was running. He was trying to escape. Oh, shit. In Santa Clarita, there was this fool. I don't, it's crazy how they videoed this. They must have saw like this fool trying to come out in the rain. It's been raining a lot this past weekend. And this on the freeway? Like, super crazy. Yes, on the freeway. Is this the 5 or the 101? It must be the 5 because the 5 goes to Santa Clarita. Okay. Um, so One second before we do this. Do you claim Santa Clarita as a part of the valley? I personally do because I've lived in Santa Clarita, but okay. it is like, it's like six flags is there. Yeah. What flags? Okay, let's play. Okay. There are different area code though. 661. So this fool literally got out of the window and then he started macing him in the rain. Did he deserve the mace or no? He didn't he deserve it. He definitely didn't, didn't deserve the mace. He didn't deserve like, it. <laughs> no, like you're, he already, it's raining. He didn't deserve one. it, Josh? He, he did. He did. The, look, Josh, the other guy that commits crimes, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> Josh, said he deserved Josh, it. Josh, just on the floor in the rain on the fire freeway, Josh. If you're able to get out if of a car. If the cops catch him, God in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, <laughs> honestly, yeah, that's crazy. Honestly, I feel like a very, very small percentage of people on this earth deserve mace. <laughs> because small. mace. Because mace is just like that shit fucking hurts, and like yeah. if you don't have milk around, like yeah. your eyes. Well, he had are water around those rain. Natural water too. That, that shit must have. Ooh, that shit must have hurt. Ooh, that shit must've to hurt. me, it's like, what was your plan after? I know. Yeah. Was that, his yeah. plan to land on his feet and then run? Well, for when he's going out face first with his yeah, hands cuffed. like and like having to like get himself up in the rain. Right. Like he thought the cop the wouldn't notice. Yeah. yeah do the worm <laughs> to <laughs> the do exit. The worm to <laughs> 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 what was the plan? Yeah, and, and 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 that shit is pouring. Like, yeah. And in the valley, it rains totally different. If you guys don't know, if you guys are not from California, yeah. And like, I don't know where the cities, but like in the valley, from like Pacoima and up, it rains like if it's like, like like no other well, it's type like of desert. Rain. It's more desert there, right? So it like it's yeah, kind of more yeah. And you know, so what things flood being, more because it wasn't a bus. The bus is the ones that takes him to what is it? Is it Wayside over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder where they were going. Where is this fool going? Because it's not CHP. CHP does the freeways. Yeah. Cops yeah. do the city. So where were they transporting this fool? Maybe he didn't. Maybe that. Let's say they're going to Wayside. Maybe he knows some motherfuckers are there that he doesn't want to be around, and he would rather risk his fucking life on the five freeway. On the five freeways. Than the, to go to Wayside. In the rain, and that's yeah. some shit. Bro, the five freeway scary. In the rain, dog. Yeah. What's the most scariest? The coyotes freeway? are gonna eat you. Yeah, the coyotes will get you. Yeah. Okay. So, scariest freeway. Scariest freeway? Ooh, that's a good question. But let's finish this really quick. Okay. But yes. I like that question. But but what's 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 your plan after this? Okay, but even like you know how the people are like Monday hitting me like da da da. Yeah. So I have to go back to work tomorrow, and it's like that is me trying is to you? not go to work. Is you on the five freeway yeah. getting out? <laughs> trying to get out. Oh, work is like no, <laughs> you're coming to, back. Trying to get out of previous engagements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
which is funny. And it's crazy. If you could have to make it a meme, what would you title the caption? Um, me trying to live the fun. You wiggling Ooh. out of a committed relationship? Me yeah. wiggling out the gym, but the gym holding me back. Like, Ooh. don't go, brother. Sperm trying to make it past plan B. Whoa! <laughs> like, nope, you are not Yo. going to full trace. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. That's just cool. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. Fuck. Wherever he's at. <laughs> Drake pinning down the girl that tried to put... Oh, on, that say she was with him? Yeah, so I don't know if oh. or something. I don't know. I this thought, shit is crazy. I just thought we'd be cool at captions. It was like, yeah, we were fucking... Yeah. We were, we were, the Kylie went today with his caption. But... I, I like the effort that he did. I do like the effort that he but, did. But I'm like, really bro, you, I'm like, bro, you knew you, first you went face first. Yeah. Like you In went chin like first. The crazy, chin like, first. we've all experienced the crazy rain that has yeah. been this past fucking week. Yeah. That's that part. It's like, you know what? And then how did you break the window? Yeah, that's that's okay. So me, like, okay, yeah. I'm big. Yeah. You guys are both thin. So you guys could do the shit like where like you, step out. you kick it Ooh, and then oh. you guys you just cuff out. each other and then you guys climb out. I can't do that. That'll be impossible. No. I gotta do the shit he did, but I'm like, you're skinny, around. bro. Like, I gotta do this yeah. shit and like maneuver and then wiggle and the shit like that. You and Vic could easily do like the. You guys are like, you know, you guys could do the cuff around. You know what I'm saying? Vic, That's a thing. I guess. Vic, no, your like, parents, right? Yeah. Maybe you two in the car. Um, but when kids are fucking acting up and you're like, turn, like I could only imagine the police officer like, you better fucking stop. <laughs> yeah. You better fucking just, stop that shit. I was just thinking about that. Like, like how did he not notice? Was the music a little too high yeah. or like the scanner? He was must like have just not volume. believed it would happen. Yeah. Because if I'm driving this, probably people try to get out of the cop car all the time. Yeah. He's like, I'm fucking driving. You better not maybe. If I pull over, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then this will actually like wriggled out for the fool to like get out and try to. You know why he probably makes them? Because he probably promised them that he would. He's like, yeah. if you get out of here, I'm I swear to God, you. I will mace you in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> so he, has to, he had to pay due on his promise. Yeah, the, the devil forgot her like. Child like the like I hate driving to people that have kids' car. Oh, uh, because the child lock. Bro, yeah. why do you have me on child lock? Because bro? my kids try to open the fucking door. Because they're gonna try to wiggle out on the five freeway in the rain. <laughs> no, but I understand. But like this, like, like, bro, this is like, like when you fucking baby mamas. I'm like, dude, we gotta go. Like, like, <laughs> you gotta go <laughs> around. Right? And she gonna be the door. I'm like, bro, it's super burnt out. We're like Sancho you know, life. Huh? Yeah, we're like on a residential area. Yeah. We're like two people trying to just open the door. Uh, From the she inside. like forgets. She gotta like climb to the front. <laughs> Something touches the light. It turns on. We're all burned out. It's bad. Over Honk here. the horn. Honk go in your car. Nah, sometimes, sometimes these girls gotta drive. Oh my god. One of my New Year resolutions is to stop saying the word bitch when I refer to beautiful. Women. So these girls. <laughs> so these girls just <laughs> go around and open it. I'm not doing that. It's burned out. Okay. Well. <laughs> That's your New Year resolution. It's one of them. Um, what else do we have? You asked something. What's the scariest freeway? Oh, scariest freeway. Easy. The 110. Going where? South. Fucking Pasadena? Off. Going away from Pasadena. From like Highland Park the... to where it's like you have to go from zero to 100 just to like not get hit by already flown Uncoming traffic. Because there's no ramp on there. Like the avenue ones. Like yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, those, yeah. that was that fucking terrible. Bro, that's that that fucking freeway. That was my drive home in here. First freeway ever built Talk, yeah. that freeway i know and the exits and the curves are, the, are crazy the exits it's are the crazy, crazy. i'll be chilling girls when i'll be going to go see them at like if, if, if they're from that side of town i'm like bro there's no i risk my life coming here yep. today oh, God. Because, <laughs> because sometimes people are just crossing it yep. and it's dark there's no light in any mm -hmm. of these places at all at any no end. light and i'm thinking because it is the first freeway ever built yeah. like why would they build it like that <laughs> you would think the first freeway ever built would be straight yeah they're like oh they're like do the fucking was it when they had horses maybe you just wanted the horses to, <laughs> to move Man, like I carriages swear. no and then my thing is like why like when you go when you're coming down the five is that the tour of the five when you're coming down the five the little egg yeah. the little turn to turn into the 110 yeah bro if you have a big car you're you're kind of fucked yeah, yeah. Because it's like hella yeah, small. Yeah, that freeway is not for the faint of heart. Mm -mm. The yeah. freeway, if you're Make not from that, my butt cheeks you. every yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're not part of that freeway, I mean, if you're not part of LA. It's, it's yeah, that's very, like the ultimate test. What very is it dangerous like, freeway. Once you defeat all the other levels oh, of freeways, yeah. it's that one. No, nah, literally. And if you learn how to drive on there, yeah. you could drive. <laughs> yeah. so. Have you guys almost had a near? What's a scary freeway for you? I, I would say that one, and even. Um, the freeway, the 110, the right in downtown, where are all the freeways merge? All the 4th Street. If, oh yeah, Street, yeah, you guys got to speed up. Sure, you guys, you yeah. can, you can. Everybody if you miss your exit, yeah. don't try to go for it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let, take the L. Take the L. Take the, take the extra little 10 foot. Because if you try to make that turn, 
it's over with. Yeah. Josh comes from the valley. He knows. He's like, if you miss it, just go. Yeah. Just go. Just go. Just go. Yeah. You'll get it back. You'll get it back. What's a scary for you? Well, my type of scary is different because I drive home. I drive to work like at four in the morning. So my type of scary is like the scariest like alien shit that I've seen. And the Ooh. scariest alien shit that I've seen has happened on. Tell me if this has happened to you guys, too. On the oh, one thirty four, where you go like two ten one thirty four, uh, like kind of like the two freeway, like the Obama freeway or whatever. It's just mountain, but it's where I've seen the most like UFO shit. Wow! Yeah, like literal, you like I'm driving and I see a fucking UFO, like a green fucking light go like this and leave. Ooh. Swear to God. Oh, you know what's also yeah. the okay, two ten. Anything closer to the mountains to me is the scarier because for, it's like, all like this paranormal vibe. I seen some shit like that on the way to Vegas one time on the fifteen, mm-hmm. and I was with the homie Swift, so it was like confirmed. You know when you're like by yourself, you're like, damn, nobody's gonna believe me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we both saw, saw it, it, and we're like, oh, you saw fuck. that? Yeah. Damn. Oh fuck! Like, and then there's like alien shit around there too. Like, yeah. Like the alien, like every fifty one, all that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, then now that I yeah, talk, that's about what it. I think when you say scary. Yeah. But that's why I don't like driving. Like, Pasadena is a scary city to me. It, it, it fucking, what's the cover? It gives it's me very pretty old. little liar vibes. Mm-hmm. It's very old. It's like, like, very like, old like, it gives me pretty little liar vibes. Like, I know there's like, and then, and then I know like the suicide bitch has its own yeah, like history. Old vibe. Yep, yep, but yep. even like driving through all of that, it's like, ah, it's giving me like scary it vibes. Like, there's energy there. there's yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's, it's been energy. a city for like Forever. so many years. How long yeah. has. So Pasadena, you know one of the oldest cities? Yeah, if that's yeah. the first freeway, that must be one of the oldest because if it's for mm-hmm. Pasadena. Oh, yeah. now that, I, that is. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of See how they didn't put two and two together? That yeah. is, damn, that's crazy as fuck. But mm-hmm. I do hate driving in like freeways that have a lot of like like little dips because when it rains, it's like hella scary. Like oh, yeah. your wheels sometimes. Honestly, LA is just a shithole. No, it's beautiful. Nah, it's beautiful, <laughs> but like. Hey, compared to the, the bay, was fucking flooded. People were like rolling around yeah, and fucking damn. like. They're down surfing here an and island. Shit. It feel like they're an island, huh? Mm-hmm. It feel like they're a just lot right of there. like. Honestly, we're really blessed. Like we don't get no type of like really. To they us, they figured it out how to like drain. Yeah, shit, we have yeah. a good like whatever that is. It goes into the LA River and all that yeah. shit. A lot of cities get really flooded. Like for real. even yeah. close, like Palm Springs. If it rains for like. Over an hour, They're they get fucked. flooded, like super fucking flooded. That's crazy. But even I've had a near death experience with with Vic before. Remember when we went to Pico Landa with Chicken Nugget? Yeah, me, you and the homie. Yeah, a big ass ball. We don't know what it was. Huh? Oh. What do you He's mean? Like, what do you mean, bro? Oh, we never told this story. I think we did. No, bro, no, we're we driving, didn't. We didn't, bro. Yeah. We're driving down the one ten, and a big ass ball, like just a circle ball. Like I don't know. Like maybe it was like, bro, but it was just what? huge, like the size of my car. Was coming straight to my car and I just curved around it. Yeah. Like a ball of what? A soccer ball? No, no. it was like a I don't boulder? know. Like was what it, the fuck? Was it? We, you, we never you told never you. No, we didn't. This. We didn't talk about that. Wow. But it was. Oh, I know something. why. You, I think you broke up with chicken nugget. We didn't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't know. But I do remember that it was. It like you literally had to like, like if you didn't. Like it would have hit us. Yeah, we would have. Well, what all do you been mean, fucked. a ball? A ball like, of what? We, we a rock? couldn't even see. Cause it, it was paper, probably a rock. Wool. It was probably a. It was probably a rock. No, but imagine a big ass. It was big. Like Damn. I curved around it, or maybe it was just bad driving? energy, and we curved the energy. We, and yeah. then we had a great time at Pico. That's right. Yes, we did. Yes, Bro, we did. For, that was a video. Remember oh, where I was going there? Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm, we're on the freeway, the ten east, the one that gives a turn. Actually, you know what? It, it might have been. It might have been something small, but the shadow. Might have, I don't know, fuck that, I'm, I'm tripping. But it was coming right yeah. towards us. It was coming right, no, we're sober. And I literally curved around the, like. Well, before we got there. The ball's here, we're driving, I went, eh, like bad, like. It's crazy, because when you say ball, like, I just, my brain needs to know ball of what? Like, okay. ball of light, ball of fucking dirt, ball of, like, a fucking. Think of Temple Run, okay. the game Temple yeah, Run. Yeah, like a big ass boulder. Was That's it? what it looked like, huh? Did you guys look look at it in the back? We looked back like, and every car did the same thing we did. Oh, but shit. I was just so focused, I had to catch the wheel back because I'm literally going Where like... Where did that ball come from? I don't know. Not, I don't know. You, but you know what's crazy? I was going to say this. It might have been a tire. Oh. It might have been a tire. It, yeah. Cool. It was probably a tire. I, f- I don't fucking like a know. Ball? Scared it. It looked like a ball. <laughs> but look, what's crazy about that, that now on that freeway, on the 10, on the 10 going ball? east... On the ten east, <laughs> on the ten east, they put big ass lights now, wow. which is safe now. They got like, yeah. I was driving with my mom, and I was like, "Dude, did we get a new freeway?" And my mom was like, "No, pusieron luces ahora." <laughs> like they put lights now, so it's not hella That's dark. Good. Wow. Yeah. So those are your scariest freeways. 
Oh, in Los, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. Brought to you by Brown Bag. Brought to you by Brown Bag. That shit is real, too, you guys. Yeah. No cap. Ours is, mine is paranormal, first freeway, and then the ball. The ball. The ball. But just yeah. any, like, I honestly, I, I'm, I'm like a scary driver. The and nicest I, freeways are in Orange County, sadly. Yeah. The 405? The fucking free, yeah, the, even the 5 when beautiful. it's like yeah. Disneyland vibe. Yeah. It's like so, so nice. open. Yeah. I, like, I like how these freeways For have real, space. Dog. And then as soon as you go into LA, like you're yeah. crossing into like Norwalk area. It gets all shitty. It gets all tiny yeah. and ugly. <laughs> it's like, dog. Oh, damn, it goes from six crazy. lanes to two. Like it's insane. Yeah. I love driving to San Diego. That drive is smooth. Nice. Yeah. They have a nice freeway too. I love it. And then because huh. when you go to the bay, you stay in one lane. It's just, just all the way. I hate that fucking drive. <laughs> that fucking drive is so. Horrible. That one, dr- the one lane to Vegas is sad too, because if there's the traffic, one that goes to Barstool and all that, that, yeah, there's yeah. nothing that you could do. But it's exciting usually because you're going to Vegas. You're going this to Vegas. Or but on the way back, back ah, it's fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, just fucking stop at Prima Donna or whatever it's called now, like Prim the Valley. Prim Valley. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Do you guys like driving? I like driving. I like driving. Yeah. That's crazy because I like driving too. Like it makes me like, like sometimes when I'm driving, I just. Good podcast vibes, vibes good music yeah. vibes, and then and then I choose wisely what I'm bumping. Like if I'm on the mm-hmm. street, I'm bumping a cool song. Once I get on the freeway, it's like it gets a little more empty, you know. Like a song yeah. I know word for word, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if I'm with a girl, and we're like on the freeway, I bump something that has related to the freeway, and then it just makes the you know like highway robbery mm. by Capolo. It's a highway Wait, robbery, and I'm just bumping hello hard, <laughs> and then I do shit that don't even do nothing to my car. Like I grab the the thing that changes the gears, but my car <laughs> it's just a regular car. <laughs> Just, I just speed up. You know what I'm yeah. talking about, Josh? Josh, you did that before. Damn, we thirsty, uh. We thirsty. So you're just like showing up that you can handle a car. Like, like yeah. a car and I'm speeding and then it's just, oh shit. You should look at her. Do the, yeah. <laughs> the what is it, from Fast and Furious? Oh, the, the stop and look. <laughs> and, then, and, then I, I back, and then I back on my seat way more. Ooh. Oh, like, Nina, super, like a, super cool guy. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> you, you really can't see shit? No. Oh, I'm not thirsty, that's why. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. All right. Yeah, yesterday I drove from, in the morning I wanted birria really bad. Ooh. And then I was like, I got to go get some birria. But the place by my house was closed. I wouldn't so just birria by your house. I went to, mm. yeah. It, no, it's it's actually really good. It's actually really good. I went to Echo Park, actually. Teddy's Reds. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Teddy's Reds. So I went, Sunset. Yeah, so it was it's yeah. like a cool drive and I just played some. <laughs> get home safely, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Cut off, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was funny though. Huh? It was. It was a good one. Cut it to you. So I was, uh, I was just driving, bump, like cruising, like really cruising, like chilling. There, nobody's on the freeway, nobody's on the road. Just listening to "Get Home Safely." I'm just. Like, oh, that's awesome. That's it a was, vibe. it was a vibe. I had a great yeah. time with myself, and then I got the media. Then you know, like you got to make sure it's like safely yeah. secured, so you're still Put cruising on the way home. Yeah. You're like a little more careful. You're driving. Yeah, like, exactly. Because yeah, the like, making dropping. Exactly. Yeah. Then it's all over with. The consomme is bad. Super bad. Okay, what about you? What's your song? Once you get on the freeway with somebody. By the way, driving with Letty, if you're sitting behind her, it's perfect. You got hella leg room. Oh, yeah. Because Jorge she's does like, that all the time because I'm so little and I screwed up. Oh, Letty drives like this. Uh, oh, okay. not, I'm little. I have little legs, you fucking fools. <laughs> not fu- getting into Duno's car. I'm just fucking in the back um, the other day. When we oh, because he goes back all the yeah, way? Yeah, I'm like, he had a I'm girl he was there, like, showing up for. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I swear, no. there's like this much room in the back seat and <laughs> the like, leg room. I'm like... Uh, that's uh, all good, homie. Yeah, listen. It's just, it's no, a, no, no. It's a, few, it, it's a few minutes away. <laughs> nah, nah. But all the homies. Why didn't you go in the front? Because because of, oh, because yeah. my bitty's oh. there. Yeah, yeah. She said I said bitty. Cause my girl. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, announcement! <laughs> Super sneak preview. <laughs> do it, big, do it, big. Exclusive sneak preview. <laughs> okay, but no, the ground wait on the moment. I told her scoot up because she's small. <laughs> So I'm like, I always tell the homie, sit behind her. Yeah. You're gonna have way more leg room. Yeah. But she like, she like don't like adjusting her seat. And she's like, oh, this. She's it was like, the same on each side. Just I know, know that. She's a dick though, because she know I'm big. Like, yeah. for, I have an excuse. You scoot up. But I told her, she's like, he already sat over there. What do you want me to do? And I'm like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. I'm like, that's oh, shit. Vic. And Vic's so nice. He's like, oh, it's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I would have told Vic, scoot up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, like, is trying to, like, lay down and stretch. Okay, okay, okay. I love that, Vic. Shout out oh. to you. Wait. Okay, a car thing. We have to go oh. to Edgar Airport. Okay, okay, and then we can go back to the cars? No, what's the cars question? Wait, for you to answer your song. What song in the yeah, car? When, you get when the I'm movie. trying to impress a guy? <laughs> no, well, like, what's, what's like, like a, a good crew song? Uh, what's like a crew, good crew song crew for you? Song How many robbery and then you said, get home safely? I was listening to Please by Dom and Nip. That's a good. Oh, fire. Yeah. 
I was listening to Mailbox Money today on the way, and that's mm. the only thing I could say. Mailbox Money was really dope because he made it. He dropped it on the beginning of the year in, I believe, 2016. Yeah. It was one of the that teams, remember that. right? 2015, one of, the, one mm. of those. Um, but he meant for this project to be like a new year project. Mm. So if you're listening, like a hundred a show is on this project. Yeah. Like Isn't that's how I case? knew. Yes. I love um, in case. That's how I knew like yeah. count up that loot. Like yeah. this is like big start the year vibe, off with this type of fucking vibe. money. Yeah. Or this type of music and money. And I'm like, dude, you everyone needs to listen to this song in the beginning of the year while you're driving. So you could just fucking while you're driving vision board shit. Fucking yeah. think of plays. Like that's get facts. that money. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, that's, it's perfect. What is perfect for the beginning of the year is definitely Dom, Nip, those yeah, like because that it, mot- they, it's motivational. They, they just make great albums. Facts. And like, you know, going like to nowadays, like people don't really focus on albums like that. Mm-hmm. I hate to sound like that guy, but mm-hmm. like that was definitely an era of like those mixtape albums that yeah. were consistent all the way through. They, they all had rollouts. It wasn't just like, hey, let's throw some shit together. Yeah. They all had like a purpose. I'm gonna you listen know, to Mailbox that's a re- Money. Yeah, listen to Mailbox Money on the yeah. way home. And then you know what's crazy that all those are. Like the music feels fresh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, no, like, that's real shit. I, yeah. I was thinking about it right now. Like the music feels like like if you listen to like Dom or like some good old school kind of like maybe not too much school but cute, but like yeah. Dom, Nip, some like hella old school, like they just rapping, talking shit, but it like yeah. feels good. Beginning of the year is a good vibe. Yeah. Overall, yeah. overall, the music is great for year round, or yeah. for whenever. Yeah, but, definitely for but, whatever. But I know that this intention for that project, because it dropped yeah. on New Year. Um, when it did drop, that like it just feels good. But yeah. speaking of, let's go into New Year stuff before we do Edgar yeah. Report. Um, I want because when I was listening to it, I, he he has a song, a hundred a show. Like he needs a hundred thousand dollars a show yeah. so like he can blow up. Or that's like like that's his goal. That's his mission. That's yeah. his fucking goal for the year. What would be a brown bag goal for the year, and then a personal goal for the year for each of us, like each to our own. Um, brown bag goal. Yeah. Oh, I definitely... Okay, we got the vision board right yeah, now. Okay. What's on our so I have like three for Brown Bag, okay? We don't have fucking like newspaper to cut yeah, okay. or magazines. So the, the the number one is to um hit 100K on YouTube subscribers. Hit 100K subscribers on YouTube. And then um maybe 100K on up. But I want all our platforms to be over 100K. Okay. Subscribers, either yeah. subscribers, followers, whatever. I think we already oh, hit okay. it on TikTok, but... Yeah. yeah. And then um tour yes. together. Or at least do two to three cities together, or yeah. different uh, outside of Los Angeles. Like a live show. Like a live show outside of Los I was, Angeles. Oh yeah, okay. My my thing was I was already I I literally already wrote it down. Like, I think we need to go on a ten city tour. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. Through yeah. like that, weekends, bro. we could. I I, mm-hmm. I thought about it. I'm like, we could do like weekends. Yeah. Then like a Houston, Dallas back to back. You know, like stuff like that. Oh, got you, got you, because they're so close. Yeah, yeah like. Then, you know, we could do like Thursday, like a Friday, Saturday. You know, and th- those are like perfect days for live like shows that. anyway. Yeah, and then and plus and and another thing, I was like, I want to be like, I don't know, I just want to do something like, I'm envisioning like our new setup or if we go mm. somewhere new. Mm-hmm. Like, place. I'm like, oh, we could put like all our dope personal accomplishments and like in on a wall and then put them together how it looks like, oh, I like, like yeah. kind of like you on tour with Cole, Vic yeah. stuff like Vic's first pants. The, the collab I did with, with whatever. Pants on the wall. You know, no, not your pants, but like a picture. A picture like, let's bronze your pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like for you shoes. know what I mean? But like, <laughs> I'm going to like stuff the crotch a lot. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, these are actually worn game jerseys. You're so dumb. <laughs> and then just sell them? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, something like that, you know? And then yeah. we already have some um, so dope shit coming. Like a new studio is what you're saying? Maybe like a, new, just yeah. a fresh start, which no, we're these doing. Are good, these are good goals. Yeah, yeah they're good, good goals. goals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want us to do like a dope. Uh, like a dope merch collab with like dope a dope brand. Collab. Yeah. And then, um, damn, there's one more I was thinking of. Shit, I forgot. Oh, I also want our own tequila. Ooh, that's hard. Be cool. That's hard. Okay. All right, go. All right, sorry, I like to go. All right, I like how I asked you guys what's one goal you have for the brown And we bag gave like two or three. We have multiple. But yeah. I'm cutting you guys off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... I say this may sound unrealistic to other people, but to me it doesn't because mm. I've been doing this shit. I'm yeah. a manifester. Um, to be the first podcast with a live show special on Netflix. 
Ooh, yeah, that's my shit. I love like that. Con- from concept to what we do, and as I'm going up, like and I'm and I'm setting up, and I'm thinking about our show, it's a fucking stand up. Like it's a it's a it's like if we're up there being comedians, that we're fucking following a script, we're following kind of like what we what we plan. And we're going through it. A lot of it has improv because we don't really go off of like, okay, now yeah. you say this line and you say this line. Yeah. But neither is stand up really. It's just yeah. the reminders of like a story that you you know you're gonna tell. Um, so that's what I want. That's amazing. And that's my one thing. And this is and there's something I let these men like like yeah. put into our heads. And it's definitely because bro, when we when we put live shows together, we we real life invest our money when it comes to like how our vision looks. Like on the thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the array one was good, but this this um this live show we did at the Novo, Letty and Maximo, they're kind of like that's kind of like they they like how certain shit looks, and they went back and forth, and we did some dope ass shit, man. Yeah, she was dope. That's dope though. Yeah. yeah. What would you name our? What would you name our? I don't know. But, special. I don't know, but it'll come to me, and I definitely see it. Like to me, it's not. It's just other people won't believe it. It's not that I. No, I see it, it already. Like. I'm telling you, it's funny that you haven't watched the the live show back yet, because I, I kind of didn't want to either. Um, not to like toot our own horn, but that shit looks amazing, like the angles and all this. Like so, and it's a real show, right. like because we the really had behind it. the production behind it, the the setup, like how big it seemed. It wasn't like a little tiny stage. Like it was just like, wow, this shit could really be on TV like that. Yeah. Yeah, the performers were lit. Yeah. We need a big up because that that was a lot of it was impromptu. impromptu. Yeah. So we talked about MC Magic. Shout out to MC Magic for coming through. Shout Killing out it. Magic. But G Perico, man. Yeah. He was there to support, and he was like, you know what? I'll fucking go. That was so fire. That shit was bomb. Yeah, we kind of we kind of baited him and AD into it too. Yeah. Like, hey, you're here already. Come and on. And it's funny because I know AD fucks with me. Like I've known AD for so long, and I just thought, like, AD, please do it for me. He's like. All right, because he doesn't <laughs> like performing that song. I got the jokes. Yeah, he's probably done it a million times. Yeah. yeah, that shit went viral though. That was a good show. That was dope as fuck. Where'd you get that picture of us crying and hugging? It wasn't. I screenshot. Oh, I thought oh. Norby. I was no, like, I was like, like, I was like, I was like, where are you getting all these random like pictures oh, from? Oh, shout out to Norby though. By the yeah, way, shout yeah, shout out Norby. Shout out everybody. Shout out Fuego. He did a really good job yeah. with the little recap and shit like that. That was dope, man. Was I, I can't wait for you guys to see behind the scenes of the vlog because. Lucha did some shit with the crowd yeah. and with like yeah. the fans outside. Everybody Lucha, was... you wore your mask, right? That's just fucking cool. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Everybody was chilling. We all ate, got drunk. <laughs> the you... vibes were in there. Like it was very much like I just felt like so much good energy flowing throughout the whole building. Yeah. Even like the Nova <laughs> workers said, "This is like the best crowd we've had all year." It was so fun. It was a responsible it was crowd. Fun. And you know, even me, because like oh, clearly, like I didn't have my notes. We all got fucked up. <laughs> Like, I think of, like, okay, what we need to do better. But the response, like, and I'm like, fuck, I hope people, like, had fun. That was, yeah. like, my main thing. Like, did we bring people up enough? Did we include the crowd enough? Like, there mm-hmm. was moments where I'm like, we should have, like, went to the crowd for this or whatever. Yeah. In my brain. But then I just hear, oh, my God, it was so fun. Like, I was so turned. This was the best show. And also, like, when we fucking cried, like, that's till the later, right? That's till yeah. the end. The fact that so many people were like, we cried, like, we laughed, we turned up, we yeah, cried. It was, like, it was they really, roller coaster. But they really went through it with us. Like, yeah. And they were fucking with us the whole time through. Yeah. You know, because people check out at certain times. Even if you're there, you probably leave or some shit. Like, it was a long time. I that feel we like people were in their there. seats the entire time. The entire time. time. That shit was yeah, crazy. there was, I, and I remember when we were all like crying. I looked and there was like five baddies just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was like an out of body experience for me. <laughs> that like my part when I started talking, like I swear to God, I saw it happen. Like I saw it happening you as it was like, happening. Uh-uh. It's always lefty, fucking lefty, always bringing it to the emotional what? state. Yeah. I am emotional. No, you I guys know. didn't have to join me. I just wanted to you say know, my shit. Nick said like the most cool thing. He was like, Loki, if I didn't say anything, I was like an evil, like an evil person. <laughs> oh, like no if feelings. you didn't join all the yeah. sadness. <laughs> that shit was hard. Crying. I've literally never shared any yeah. of that or said yeah. any of that. So but it that's was what happens really, in those really moments. Hard. Like, yeah, that was a good. It was I a couldn't good. even talk. I was like, damn, what the fuck? I'm fucking <laughs> choking right now. That shit was that shit was like the funny. It was like, it was definitely an emotional roller coaster. Vic's dad in the back is the 
<laughs> I was like, what's up, fool? That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Did you guys see the dudes doing burpees in the bag? Dog, yeah. what is my Your brother? homies. Your Why? homies. Oh, your brother. No, only one of them. I don't know what other food Only at a brown bag that show. That was cool as fuck. Will there be a burpee Why competition, competition in, in the hallway? Why can't food. you can't do 30 right now? <laughs> Fucking, that's such a smoker thing to do. Like. <laughs> hey, what's up? Well, you want to do some burpees? <laughs> I'm like, only at our shit. I'm assuming that they recognize each other. I my don't sister, know, you, you should see my sister. She was like embarrassed. She like walked away. <laughs> like my brother it was crazy. Burpees it's, are positive, though. It's funny you because know? me and him were like squabbling the next day, like on Christmas, like oh, for shit. fun. For fun. Like, and then I remember some, and then I didn't see it. So you guys sent it. Like somebody mentioned that like, bro, look at TikTok. Somebody's like doing burpees. And then I go and I'm like, oh, that was my brother. I'm like, oh, fucking fool. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it sounds like it. Shout out Shorty, man. Yeah. Give me Shorty, dog. And shout out to the grupo that was in the backstage. Shout out yeah. to the man. Good yeah. people. I, I blame them for getting us drunk. <laughs> well, you got yourself drunk. It was, it was honestly, it was so hard to not get drunk. Yeah, it was a mission Michi not Chui to get drunk. Michi Chui was back Bye. there. We had like shout bottles. Out shout, out shout, out shout out to the Novo for the, you know, hospitality. Yeah. Um, the 42, so and it was long. just like, we're so excited, yeah. we're the happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Bucanas. bucanas. Yeah. I mean, Jorge drink. Yeah, Jorge drank with you. He doesn't drink. He, I know, yeah. The only other person I've seen him drink with is Nipsey. And that was like on special, okay, like on birthdays or like the album release. Or like or like celebration. Like yeah, like special yeah. fucking shit. Well, that just shows that Jorge's down to celebrate. He loves you. That's yeah, it. But it's funny because I got like, uh, I kept calling my Dom bottle. Ace of Spades. And no one told me. What is like, hey, you know you kept calling Dom Ace of Spades? When'd you and do I'm, that? The whole time. The whole time I was like, yeah? hold on, I spilled my Ace of Spades or whatever. And, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, then, and, I, and no, 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 it's the, Dom, the Dom Perignon, Perignon, which it's is also champagne, a good bottle. Yeah. But it's not Ace of Spades. Yeah, Ace of Spades. I it's like me that. saying me wearing like Prada be like, hold on, my Louis bag, my Louis bag. And it's like it's not that it's bad. Yeah, it's just like it's, just it's the not. Wrong one. Oh my god, I didn't catch that. I said me it neither, all yeah. the because I did I thought that's what I had. <laughs> I don't know these bottles. <laughs> We're so new to this, all right? We're not true to this yet. We're new to this fucking rich shit. But I was like, you but I was that? carrying the Dom, and I was like, yeah, my Ace of Spades when I spilled it. They don't and, know what's inside, And though. then we were, like, telling, <laughs> we are bringing out AD. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I spilled my Ace of Spades. And then you're like, oh, no. don't worry, Letty, because you know who's got the juice? <laughs> <laughs> Horrible, well, you. now I feel like a dork. <laughs> 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 Jesus. That's funny. I didn't yeah. realize so that. So if you watch it back, I'm fucking... Yeah. It is a dark We're, we're putting an asterisk like we yeah. meant. Yeah. This is what we, we meant. meant. We meant Dom Perignon. That's funny. Which is also a bomb. And also very expensive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I have the Great cheapest time. writers, Letty and Vic. They're fucking bougie. No. Hold Hold it. It. <laughs> he just, I feel like he copy and pasted Nipsey's old yeah. writer. I know. I was like, I was like, I was like, it said no pork it's with my steamed Mo vegetables. And I was like, Letty, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Because like, Maximo was like, hey, we need to turn this in at one. Hey, Maximo and Kelly. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck to ask for on a writer. So yeah. I text him like, hey, what should I put on the writer? And he's like, oh. And then he just is like, here, say this. I didn't even look at it. No, it's just I, a I didn't even look at it. <laughs> I didn't even look at it. I saw like T something and then I was like, oh, okay. No, dig, I swear, because I'm like, I told the lady like. Should we read it? You yeah. do you have the thing? Yeah. Okay. I told the lady I'm like it says two Rock Nation hats. So no. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, can I see that? Cause I got there first. Yeah. And I'm with I'm with Jose, Lucha, and Josh in the back. And I'm like, who ordered no pork with steamed vegetables? <laughs> and then Jose and Lucha were like, we didn't. I was like, I brought Tinga. <laughs> I was like, you asshole, which was gone, by the way. Shout out my sister. Oh, yeah. For making some fire thing. Thank you. That shit Thank got you yeah, that was bomb. Everybody was enjoying that shit. It was perfect where you put it, too. Yeah, that was a perfect Everybody spot. was just, like, comfortable to go grab some and eat. Norby was standing in front of it for, like, 10 minutes, and I was like, fool, grab okay, some. Okay, okay. Here, let me read it. Let oh, me read it. Oh, that's so funny. Let me read it. Let me read it. Because I put, look, what should I, should, what should be on my writer for the Novo? Okay, then... you guys, this is, she didn't put all of this. Oh, actually, Yeah, made, I just copied it. You did, okay, okay. One bottle of Ace of Spades or Dom Pergione. Perion. Perion. Yeah. No, oh, the G silent? Yeah. Perion? Oh, I don't know. He is, he is a rich. It's French. Two, number two, one large Don Julio 1942, okay. case of Red Bulls, case of bottled spring water, mm -hmm. assorted fruit juices, cranberry, orange juice, and pineapple oh, juice. I don't know. Plenty of ice, Lipton tea, Earl Grey tea, honey, fresh lemon, sugar, and utensils, mm -hmm. hot water. 
Does Led Dino like she drinks fucking hot water? Hot yeah, water for tea. tea. Get the you fuck out, both of you. Fucking, yeah, yeah. You Shut guys. the. <laughs> shot glasses, plastic cups, food platter for four people. The platters shot consist of shaw. <laughs> consist of grilled fish, shrimp, and fried chicken, served hot, fresh vegetables, and fruit as well. No pork. <laughs> And, and it was like 15 shot glasses. Like it was very specific. And I'm like looking at this, right? And I'm like, okay, what did Vic get? <laughs> and it was like 1942 platter of fucking fruit, more strawberry than mango, whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> and I'm like, there's no way Letty put no pork. And what and what did you ask for? Two <laughs> bucana bottles and some sparkling water. <laughs> and I got the total opposite. Everybody else got this shit but me. Oh, <laughs> What's your line to go to when you fucked up and you gotta apologize? What? <laughs> What's your go-to line? line? Uh, if it's not the truth, you shouldn't go have a go-to line. <laughs> What's your go-to <laughs> line when you're caught? I know. I got uh, one. But. What's yours? Now I feel it though, but I mean, if if if, if this is what it is, then it is what it is. I hate <laughs> you. <laughs> That's terrible. Honestly, you guys, uh, somebody me, don't give think, credit a lot to this world as Letty. We love bad. you to death, girl. Oh bad if nobody else loves you, I we love you. you. Just, just no. I don't know. No, never. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll talk to you about it after. Video. I'm trying okay. to think of what's my go-to when I... When, when you fuck up? When you fuck up, it's... Uh, Can it be Letty didn't do it? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, 100% on this one. But my my main thing is, like, immediately... I accept full responsibility. I think it's important to get that out the way. Yeah. Vic is big on accountability. And I yeah. think sometimes, like, if you guys are fighting with a girl, at least, I think in my experience, yeah. all we want is, like, even more than an I'm sorry, I just want you to be like, I understand you. Like, yeah. oh, you're mad because this. Oh, I get it. Because sometimes it's like, no, that didn't happen. Or I'm sorry you feel that way. I fucking hate I'm sorry you feel that way. Because that puts it on the person. No, yeah, shout out Vic for being an adult. But I'm not like, going to do that. <laughs> You're gonna be like, well, it is, if it is what it is, then it is what it is. Like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's just like, because then the girls will be like, what do you mean it is that, what it hey, is? That's like, not even, you know, like, there's so a lot of terms. My, my, no, my, no, it's because there's, there's a lot of terms like, um, whatever. There's just like people say, like, oh, like deflecting and right. gaslighting, all these things, right? What you did, I don't even know what that's called. <laughs> that's some whole new shit. Some that's some 2023 shit. shit. Yeah, it's some, what's his, what, who's the guy? Sharp? Sharp. <laughs> Can we call Sharp real quick? Nah, Sharp would tell a bitch. I ain't never. <laughs> bitch, be proud to have Can me. Can you actually call Sharp and we ask him, what is the go-to go line when you fuck up? He's going to say some misogynistic shit and you're not going to like it. It's going to be some pimp shit. No, I actually think he's like, he's very... can a pimp be a gentleman too? Yes, we'll ask him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Pimp's June man. seems like a gentleman. G. Put Rico seems it. like a gentleman. There's a lot uh, of people seem I'm like going to connect to the thing. Dude, oh. Yo, what up, church? <laughs> what it do? All right, Church, we're on the brown bag right now, right? Hi, Sharp. <laughs> I want to know why everybody always call me from the fucking channel. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp, okay. So we're talking about how do you admit you fucked up to a girl? Like, let's say you got caught cheating or something. Just what's your go-to line to, like, apologize or just get out the situation? I say just keep it open. That way you ain't got to worry about lying. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 in the band. Keep that shit open. That way you ain't never got to worry about lying. If you sit there and you keep shit open in the relationship of whatever the fuck is going on, how can there ever be any problems? A bitch always say she just wants to be told the truth. Okay, well, here's the truth. Don't act up about it. Hey, Sharp, it's Letty. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp. Hey. But you, you've made a mistake before, right? Like, you've ever made a mistake? Like, what what's your... If you're I've a, truly apologetic, I've made a million mistakes. Yeah, what would be like your apology in that? In that, hey man, there, there is no. How can you apologize? Yeah. A chick don't really want to. She doesn't. She can't see an apology. She wants to feel it. So Ooh. you can sit there and say I apologize a million times over and over again, but it doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to accept it in that form. Right. Sometimes it's best to be able to show. You got to put kind of some physical to the visual. Ooh. Wow. I'm telling you. Sharp. Bars on bars, bars. on bars. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sharp. I love you to death, like Sharp. Shit, I know you like that shit. Like <laughs> 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 All right, bye. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, people like Sharp are like. In, I, I'm gonna say this in the most. The cut? I'm gonna say this in the most positive way. Like they're dangerous because they're so good with their words. Talk, talk right? Like I know you like this shit. Like. <laughs> Your answer. Yeah. I like how his tone changed. Like you gotta tell, keep the bitch open. Hey, sharp. Hey. Hey. You know, chicks, chicks don't understand sometimes. But yeah, Dog, sharp is a yeah. fucking legend. That was hilarious, bro. <laughs> you're a legend. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. I, I I feel him though. Like when you you gotta show her. You gotta show her. Make her feel it. You gotta make her feel it. <sighs> Oh, what? Talk, that was the fucking oh, funniest shit sure. ever. <laughs> I thought you too. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> In Edgar news, there is a large amount of Asian Americans that have actually now joined the Edgar community. Um, and I'm being told from my sources that they're actually called Kevin Wins. What? So yeah, they dress just like Edgar's, like like a suede or a peso, um, <laughs> but they're, they're fly they, they wear shit. yeah they wear they wear the shysties, but under the shysties What's you can guarantee shiesty? the the um the mask the, the face mask, mask kind of like the ones that go around. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I thought those were scullies. No, uh, I feel like people just call no, them. No, it's shysties. okay. I'm learning. I'm fucking learning. Yeah, like I the push ice. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, like okay. push ice. Yeah. Put, put, like people were doing it, but push ice to you like kind of made it like he famous. branded it. Yeah, he branded it. Yeah, pretty much. So they they wear their shysties. They wear their fly clothes. You know, obviously they're dripped up, and they you know they they do what what uh you know Latino Edgars do as well. And this is like a you know sweeping the nation. I I personally know a Asian Edgar. Um, his name is Jakarta Slim. You know, so he's, been, <laughs> he's a trendsetter. Yeah, he's a trendsetter. Yeah, he fucking one of a kind editor. One of a kind. Yeah, he's holding it down on the West Coast because I I'm being told that this there's a lot of this type of activity in the Midwest. So my cousin from Chicago actually told me that um, his his uh, his wife is Asian. So he's she was telling me and tell, or she was telling him which he was telling me relaying the message. You know what I'm saying? So uh, awesome. shout out to all the Kevin Wens. I uh, hope you you know fuck with Brownback and we will be in Chicago. At some point, twenty twenty three, I'm manifesting it. And then, and then, please I'm, don't rob us. And then, I'm down for the Kevin Wentz to open up for us. Okay, yeah. I have a question. Yeah, yes. you're you have a source, okay? Yes. Are they not clowning you? They didn't tell you this, and then like we're getting clowned for saying saying Kevin Wen or like. No, no, no. Because his uh his wife is like a serious person. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> His wife is like she wouldn't just say that. Like she's not a jokester, you know. Oh, like, oh, okay. like oh, yeah. why do you believe her source? Because he's married to someone that's so serious. But these guys have like all have light beams on their guns. Yeah. Yeah. Very very accurate. Shoes. Okay. You want to know a quick story real quick? Yeah. yeah. The homies when they were leaving the Novo, they walked it from the Novo to the club, <laughs> and they were making fun of some fools, like just clowning on them. Yeah. And then the homies said that they saw like a gun point at them, like the beam. Oh. And then the, the homies were like, yeah, they were for sure Edgars. They were just, what? they were nodding it. And they were Edgars. And it's just like funny as shit. Damn. It's what funny because they... most of your homies aren't Edgars. They're not Edgars. But they're I... the age where they could be. They could be, but yeah. they, they certify to a whole different level. Yeah, exactly. Um, And I'm sorry, I, I think I missed the part where we said what type of Asian they are. Uh, I don't... Nguyen is, might be Korean? Vietnamese. Nguyen, okay, so... Vietnamese. I don't, yeah... Cause you know, like there's certain last names that yeah. Is that that's a oh that is a Vietnamese last Cause name. Cause you know, right? like even yeah. it's like, is it like yeah. appropriating culture? But I don't. I think we share a lot of culture. Yeah, especially with Vietnamese. Vietnamese, okay. Um, and I again, I'm saying this because I don't want to say, hey, we do anime, and anime is not Vietnamese. Okay, right? that's what you're saying. But yeah. it's like we take influences from yeah. Asian culture and then they take influences exactly. from our culture. I think in Japan, there's a full on low rider fucking Oh, yeah. she is humongous yeah. over there. Yeah, they love So Mexicans. that's why I was thinking these are the um, like Japanese. Oh, I don't, I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't believe so. Okay. Well, big up to the Kevin Nunians. You guys made a longer word, which is crazy, like a longer name. Yeah. What would you, you know? name them? And then when. when um, when British people do it, they call him the Bartholomew <laughs> Williamson <laughs> of Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. It's like some long ass name for a haircut. Yeah, exactly. Did you guys see the um, baby youngin? Yes. 
Yes. Uh, and saying that he was like one of the first, or the the dude that made the Edgar Cup. He, he said he was one of the first. Low key, I think he was. Um, he was probably the first, the the first famous Edgar. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it like, wouldn't be like um Peso or he predated them a little bit. Or really? maybe Bravo, maybe Bravo. Bravo got the haircut. Bravo, Bravo was yeah, but Bravo never embraced it though. Uh, yeah. Like because he did an interview with Adam, and Adam asked him. No, no, House One did. House One asked him like. Oh, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, it was with House One and Adam. Yeah, he was like, he was like, oh, like, um, tell me about your Edgar cut, and he's like, what's that? <laughs> and was just, he said it like really intimidating. Yeah. And they're like, never mind. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but also, <laughs> yeah. No, but also like, Jakarta's been having that haircut forever. Mm. Jakarta's been having the the Edgar for like ever before there was an Edgar. Really? Yeah. That's I, I, I remember whenever they make fun of him, yeah. he goes like, he's like, I've been doing this shit, bro. Right? <laughs> yeah. He just always God, like point hey. the fact. And then, and then he always had to show pictures for him in high school. Like, look, bro, I've been doing this. I've been doing this. Oh, gosh. Um, That's pretty funny. I do think Baby Youngin, who's one of my, I like his singing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks so crazy that he looks a, a way, but he sounds a whole different yes. way. Yes. Oh, yeah, because he's from Texas. He's from Dallas. But like, he looks like super, like super duper chuntaro vibes. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's what it's like. He sing, yeah, he, he well, looks like Deep Poet. He yeah. looks like Deep Poet. No. <laughs> I'm not putting it to a place, but I'm saying like he, but then he sings and it's like, oh Voice shit. Voice of an angel. Super. Yeah. Sings, beautiful. Uh, sings yeah. hella nice. Who's the guy that sings? Send me your location. Khalid? Yeah, he reminds me like of a Khalid. That's yeah. such a great song. Yeah. Oh, that's a great song. I forgot about yeah. that song. Can what we happened? sing it together? That's the only part you know. Send me <laughs> your location <laughs> and uh, demonstration <laughs> and I don't wait to run it about you. I think we need to have a good. You know, I gave up drinking. Send me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to start. <laughs> I think we need to get <laughs> drunk too. and go see. Shout out to Asian editors. I like them. Yeah. They're fly. They look cool. Yeah, they're fly. Yeah, they do look fly. They yeah. look fucking awesome. Shout out to the Edgars. Starting off the new year on, on a foot. <laughs> on a foot. <laughs> on the right foot. But RP you know Pele. <laughs> oh, my God, Vic. What? RP the legend Pele from Brazil. Yeah. yeah. Actually, one of my favorite movies is like the little documentary movie thing they did for him. Yeah. On Netflix, it was good as fuck. The fact that they would, um, yeah. the, the coach would have let him play like Brazilians because they would look down upon like, with all the tricks and the cool shit. Yeah. And then they kind of had to play kind of like the white version. Yeah. And then he got accepted. He was young, man. Legend. Good legend. He changed you know, the sport forever. Pain changed the sport forever. Pele, 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 Pele is the reason, or one of the many reasons, but it's like a very specific like moment that the two brothers, there's two brothers that created Puma and Adidas, right? One, they, they, they had a... They're brothers? Yeah, they yeah. had their brothers. So they... I um, fucking know that. It's like a crazy history with them. Mm -hmm. It gets even dark and not yeah. even... They're not that great people. But mm -hmm. one created Adidas, one created a Puma. And then it started getting into the like the land of like sponsoring certain players and Adidas and, and, and all, all the brands grabbing players. Yeah. So they had a pact. They're like, we don't fuck with each other. We have our own businesses, but let's make a pact that neither of us Cross. is gonna sign Pele. He was huge as fucking fucking soccer player. So they said, like, as okay, you do your shit, I'll do our shit. We never will sign this guy. They made Because a pact. he's the biggest. Yeah, he's the biggest. I think they didn't wanna like, I don't know. They kept they like they had competition, but I guess they they didn't want it to ever be that crazy, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. But then the Puma brother goes behind the Adidas brother back and he tells Pele like, hey, I want you to wear these shoes at the World Cup and I want you to, like he was thinking like best marketing ever, right? He wanted Pele to go up to the the referee and say, hey, can you tie my shoe? It's untied. And this is all on video where Pele walks up to the ref and the ref goes down and ties his shoe and then when the, the camera zooms and it's a Puma Fucking oh. soccer shit. So it's like bomb, right? Great marketing. But then after that, the it sounds like some shit right there. <laughs> but after that, the Adidas brother was like, "Fuck you! Why'd you go against our pack? Like that was wow. like their, you know, when like two countries are beefing, but they have like a peace treaty. That mm -hmm. was their peace treaty. And then after that, that it was war. like, yeah, no, fuck you. Never gonna even to see you at Christmas or Thanksgiving. Or yeah, Christmas. you're yeah. not my brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then so then they he he broke the pack. Yeah. Well, he didn't know. He was just fucking out here. No, 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 ever, right? no, not Pele. Um. The, oh, Puma the Puma brother. brother. Puma brother. Broke, broke the I wonder facts. how much he paid Pelé. Facts. I don't know. I think it might be recorded, but that was even just the whole backstory behind shit. Oh my god. 
120,000. But at the moment, that's a lot. Which at that time is like millions. Oh, yeah. Here. And especially to a, a dude from Brazil. Oh, my God. You guys, there's even more shit. This is going to get us in the weird um, YouTube fucking... Algorithm. Algorithm. Yeah, it, we're getting there. Just Are you ready? Yeah. So, fuck it. it takes my mind off things, and I need to get take yeah. my mind off things. So, see? That's crazy. That is zoom into the fucking shoes. Damn. Isn't that crazy? That's some shit. Them hoes are ugly, too. But that shows you, like, business play. Like, all of that shit. Like Nike crazy. wasn't around at the moment? I think no. it was, but or it might have, might have been. But it was, like, Nike's those were the competing ones in, okay. like, sports um, sponsorships. Tetris. The motherfucker that created Tetris is... That story is crazy. I was just... You know, I watched the, like... Weird uh, shit. Murder docs and shit like mm -hmm. that. Okay. Fucking wild. Can it... Let me go in? Okay. Yes, Ready? let's Ready? go already. So, the dude that created Tetris is some dude from Russia. He created Tetris um, off of a game that he would play with kids, and he was like a behavioral study, and he would play, like, lining up the things, and they look like little Tetris pieces, right? So he's like, I wonder if I can make this into, like, a game or somehow transfer it to computer. So he did it, and he created it, um, made it for computer, and then it went really well. And before, it's like when floppy disks were a thing, like when it was even, you can't share shit, you have to create one and then give it to other people. So it became a hit in Russia. Like, fucking motherfuckers were addicted. Because even the game with the kids, it was meant to study them of how addicted they get to this shit. So he made this video game on for a computer. It goes crazy in Russia. In Russia, there's no, like, trademarking or, like, copywriting or whatever. Basically, if you do something, the government owns it. So the government ends up somehow being, like, and on some mafia shit, like, hey, we fucking own this shit. We own the rights to this shit that you in just Russia. made. In Russia. Right, in Russia. And so they're selling it, and they're getting fucking paid off of it. He's not really getting paid off of it, even though he made it. And then somehow Tetris finds its way to the United States. And then Tetris blows up. Like, I think they did, like, a partner, actually. Um, they sold it to, like, Nintendo. And Nintendo, the Game Boy, would come with Tetris. And that shit was, like, when Game Boy was barely invented. Anyways, now Tetris is full-blown worldwide hit. Yes. This shit is addicting. If I, I remember used to playing Tetris, and I then I, in my sleep, I would play Tetris. It was fucking crazy. Wow. Like, I would dream yeah. of playing Tetris. Like, that shit was wild. But that's how addictive it is, right? Long story short, that Russian fool has a partner. Him and his partner are like, okay, dude, we need to fucking figure some shit out. Let's get to America. Let's go to America. Let's create another game. Let's try to figure it out. So they go to America, and they try to figure it out. And... um. Then they get, like, one of them gets murdered, but the way that they get, he gets murdered is they made it look like a, a suicide homicide where his wife is killed with a hammer, his son is killed with a hammer, and they slice his, and supposedly he sliced <coughs> his own throat. But the way that it looked, it was, like, too far deep. Like, you would, you would stop yourself from the pain yeah. before you would cut yourself. The way that he fell, he was still holding the knife, but if you killed yourself, why would you still hold? All this shit was going yeah. on, right? It was just shady as fuck. And then also the, the flag of the Russia is two hammers and a thing. So they're like, this is more like a mob hit. Oh. And this is very reminiscent of like how other motherfuckers get hit from the Russian mafia. And it all has to do with fucking Tetris. And then there was another fool. What's his name? So, you know, this is where it gets even weirder. I'm telling you, this shit is crazy. You know that lady, Ghislaine Maxwell, the one yeah. that was helping that other fool? <coughs> Epstein. Yeah. Epstein. Ghislaine you have you heard the name Epstein? It's that fool that was like human trafficking girls. Island, island, yeah, 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 yeah. The island fool. sick bastard. So he had his like girlfriend, but yeah. would also like so her dad is like some popping ass fool. Like he was mm -hmm. like, like he had yachts and all this shit. Yeah. He ends up dead too because what he started doing was in America he was like re cartridging Tetris. And then I guess they went back to the Russian authorities like, hey, did you guys okay this? And like they said, there's no paperwork, nothing. They're like, no, we didn't okay this. Let's go kill that fool. So they killed him and they threw him off his yacht. And that's the dad of that bitch that like all the Epstein wow. shit comes from. And I'm like, all this for fucking connected? Tetris? Yeah, so It feels dark. like Tetris connecting yeah, the shit. Yeah, the body's dropping sheesh. But that just shows me like real shit happens and then we're just using it like nothing. We're just like, oh, the, the origin of, of, things of things can be very dark and then they actually They're are, like everyday things. Yeah. Yeah, the game has nothing to do with these murders. But it's crazy. But it's yeah. crazy how they're all connected. It's centered through. around yeah. the Tetris. And if you guys, if you're into murder docs like I am, it's on Hulu and it's called something like Tetris Murders or some shit. It was wow. fucking wild. Don't, don't look up the origin of anything is the lesson I learned True. from this. Well, Makes you not want to do anything, damn it. Yeah. Like, who invented wow, mirrors? Man? It's crazy. sick bastard, yeah. too. Like, But it's crazy. The food that connected Tetris, the food that made Tetris, is somehow connected to the daughter 
of yes. to the daughter of a guy that tried to scam Tetris, and to and the, then the and, daughter and, 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 and the daughter's a fucking sick fuck. fuck. Holy shit! These the Russians. world is sick. Russians yeah. are sick. Yeah. Crazy. Right. And then and then and then yeah. and then, and then <laughs> you guys if you guys we should all just listen to Josh this whole time. Oh, yeah. And honestly. then and then you guys if you guys see Black Dolphin on YouTube, yeah. like the craziest prison. In Mex in Mexico in fucking Russia that shit is crazy. Oh, oh. They they don't let them. They always they're always looking down so they don't remember an escape plan. Like it's like a trip. Like oh, no. like it's like it's hard. It's just crazy. Like well you know they're prisoners. They're like cannibal people and shit like that. All right. Well. Damn. That's wild. I got very dark. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A couple things before we go. We want to shout out our guy Abrams at LA Hat Heaven. We That's have a right. collab in the works. Look at all these beautiful hats on the fucking no table. Cap. No cap. No cap. All cap. This is the time there's a lot of caps, yeah. but all cap, no cap. No cap yeah. But just know I'm a win, you guys. Oh my god. My hat design will be the best. Okay, you're spilling the fucking oh, sorry. secret. We have a collab in the works. Yeah. Essentially, Vic is gonna design his own hat. Duno's gonna design his own hat, and I'm gonna design my own hat. And we are going to do a brown bag hat collection in collaboration with LA's Hat Heaven and our guy Abrams. That's right. At Pro Image Fox Hills. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm hella excited. Because yeah. a lot of people always ask us, like, where, where do you guys you get, get your hats? hats? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, now you can come get them, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I think so. it makes a lot of sense. We've had Abrams on the show before. Yeah. Um, Latino of... business, you know, that we Love support. It. Latino well. designer. And, like, the Fox Hills Mall and that hat store is, like, a real staple. Yeah. Like, oh, I see it. The lines Rappers are crazy. go all the time. Yep. They have big, long lines. Like, it's really dope, you know, so. Shout out Los Angeles. Shout out LA. And then let's end this podcast on a really light note with the Reyes Magos. It's yes. Dia de los Reyes tomorrow because we yes. drop on Thursday. Tomorrow's the 6th. Did we all know the it? babies earn the bread. Each thing stands for something, but we're just going to cut through and see who gets the baby. Yeah. And the baby has to bring food the next episode. Knife, please. Okay. The baby has to. Yeah, right? That's yeah, the yeah whoever. Uh, if, if, if I get it, I'll have my mom make us some costillas. Okay. With some arroz. That's your favorite food. That's my favorite food. <laughs> How was that a punishment? <laughs> What's up, Letty? No pork. Remember, Letty. <laughs> All right, Pacific. All right. Um, for Lucha, you put the babies in there, right? They're already in there. Yeah. The babies have been inserted in there somewhere. All right. By the way, you guys, the video what? of Vic's dad hitting on a girl is the funniest thing. Oh, ever. my God, bro. <sighs> Send me... <laughs> Okay, all right. Watch that big ass shit. Um, all right, so I just cut it anywhere? Yeah, I cut it anywhere. I'm looking at all these places that Should are. Should I like, do some ASMR while we cut it? Okay, what I okay, do I have to cut two pieces? Like do I cut it like a whole? You gotta piece? cut it like half. So you can like take out your piece, basically. Okay. Sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, you hear somewhere? Am I good at it? No. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. It's a really small piece. I yeah, hope what? you still get the baby. Yeah, no pussy. All right. All right. All right. No baby, Wait. no baby. I'm just kidding. Wait. It does place right there. Oh, sad. Should I just get Oh, time to <laughs> sleep, 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 sleep. Oh my good. I watch ASMR to go to sleep, you guys. What is your ASMR channel that you watch? That's between me and my <laughs> ASMR channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the baby. Shut up, Victor. <laughs> Mr. Cully. I'm calling all of you guys by your na full names this year. <laughs> Let these. Oh, maybe I got that. That's not my full name. What's your, what's your full Letice? name? Letice? No, no, I was going to say Leticia. Mm -hmm. No, baby. Hopefully it's Letice that she could cook. Cause she, I'll probably forget. She won. Oh, give her a plate. How oh. many babies are in here? Two. Two babies. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why'd you get both? <laughs> <laughs> Send me your look. You, and, and you can't cut a part that's already open. That doesn't count, Letty. I'm oh, so mad. Okay, of course so, I'm going to get the stupid baby. Okay, so it can't be this far. <laughs> or maybe it could be, but it got to be from like here to here. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what are you? I'm going to put it right here. Oh, no, you can't do that. Yes, I'm going to do this and this. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What are these things, actually? Not like gummies or something? 
Look at somebody. <laughs> oh, you got it. Shut up, bitch. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> what the fuck? No, baby. But where'd you put the babies? Keep going, bitches. Oh, they were. Oh, they oh. came. Fuck. Keep going, big. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, SM. oh you go first. <laughs> open yours, open yours in half. Mine doesn't have the baby, you gotta do this. Open yours in half. <laughs> hey, hey don't get on the hats. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Pretty sure he has some type of hat cleanser. <laughs> you can't cut the part that's open. So I gotta be in between There's that. no baby <laughs> Right here? Yeah. yeah. The box is but it gotta be in between that and like this part or something. Or like that in between this. It can't be like. A... Ooh, you got it. You got it? No, I don't. <laughs> All right, now we'll do the part. Cut it, cut your right Cut it half, fuck part. it. Well, I haven't decided what well, half I wanna cut yet. <laughs> Look at us laughing through our pain. Uh... <laughs> no! no oh, you're stupid. No, you're starting on this already. This is like Jenga. <laughs> when you're... Do it from the, trying... from the chair, bro. What? Like, 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 no, you already started cutting there. Oh, okay, I get what you're doing. I get what you're doing. I get what you're doing. Go, go, go. Fuck. So it's down here. Right there. <laughs> Feel it. Yeah, you got the baby dog. Eh, you did. It looked, the baby's there. They, you were I got both the babies? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? Twins. Oh, it's twins. <laughs> God damn it, bitch. Oh. Look, the, you were supposed to. You were supposed to get them out and put them in Lucha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just cut the it part where out. the little bag is under with the baby. The bolsita? <laughs> Saca la bolsita. You got the babies in la bolsita. Oh, fuck it, you lost your way. What is he going to bring oh, next week? Right, oh, fuck. <laughs> Earth Cafe. <laughs> Shit. I know what I'm not bringing. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Happy Dia de los Reyes. Happy fucking week, first week of January. <laughs> We hope it goes better for you than it did for us. <laughs> we love you love all. Love you. We love um, you all. Episode I, 79. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I love you, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>